This is an example of Tresca's and von Mises yield criterion under combined stresses. So we're given this um, uh, element, as we've seen previously in the examples, this is the same element. Okay, so assuming it has a yield stress of 180 megapascals, check if the following element under combined action yielded according to Tresca or von Mises. Okay, so as we saw in the previous example in that video of Mohr circles, the principal stresses were 108.5 megapascals and minus 88.5 megapascals. In an exam, if you have this question, you're going to have to know how to work out the principal stresses using this face, okay? Obviously, they'll tell you by how much the element's been rotated, okay? But this is just from using the previous example. So firstly, we look at Tresca. Now, Tresca's yield criterion is according to the maximum of absolute value, principal 1 minus principal 2, or absolute value of principal stress 1, or absolute value of principal stress 2, is less than Fy. If they're all less than Fy, then we have no yielding. If they equal to Fy, then it's on the yielding point. If it's beyond Fy, then it has yielded, okay? So substituting the values of principal stress 1 and principal stress 2, this comes to the maximum of 197, 108.5, and 88.5 is less than 180. We look at the maximum value. In this case, we have 197. So 197 is not less than 180. 